Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am doing a take a tutorial on how to make a skin and after you do that after I do that I will show you how to export it into Minecraft Bedrock. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you see I have Steve here in the Tinker editor, as you can see up here, Tinker Minecraft skin editor, Steve. And then after I do this I always, always when I do, I go to the fill, I go to the black, well it's not fully black, you want to turn it all the way to black, and after you get done with black, you want to, uh, click the, click the, uh, little thing, little icon down here, and then you want to go to large, and after you do large, it will color it all in, so after you color it all in, you want just, you wanna uh I'll show you what to do after it gets all colored in. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the head remove the body do this and then and then this this and then just the legs like that and then once you don't have done that turn it all the way to this then you want to make sure it's the face so you want to go over here make sure your color as you can see this is not the face click the back button go over here and right here is the face see but when I when I, when I erase as you can see it is the face you can see the eyeball there but I'm gonna make a kind of a a uh, glitched kind of Steve. So yeah, first you want to go on the eraser thing, erase a a kind of a, a glitchy thing of Steve like this. But let's go ahead and I want to color a little bit more into depth here, like this. This is cool. And after you have this here, then all you want to do, you want to grab a little bluish color, grab this purple, just turn it to blue, like right here, a darker blue, and then all you want to do is outline the top, go down one, one, two, go down one, and then you, want to, you just want to go over like this, and go up like that, like this. It should look like this, and then once you have it like this, put two in the middle, one two like this and then that's the uh, thing that is the design on the front and then once then this design will be like this you want to do the same thing but on the back like this and then once you have it like this all you want to do is to make a little necklace on the back like this as you see it's not much not straight but it will be Put two like this, like one on the front and one on the back. And then this is the skin. Once you get done with this skin here, you want to click. Well, no, I don't have a, I don't have a lot of detail. So if you want to have a lot of detail, you want to click this blue button over here. You want to click scatter. And then once you do this, you just want to scatter blue. Make sure not to hit the little uh, thing that we just made. Make sure to do it on the back of the head as well. All but on the front and the side of it. Like this. Like that. So, once I get done with this, I will show you what to do. So, like this. Okay, and then you get done with this, you want to make sure to do it, do like this, you want to make sure to move the head, get over here, and then just do that. 
that you basically you just want to you just you just want to do every single part of it like that and then the arm I think I already got this one and then we could just do this one real quick like that and then just do the legs and after you do the legs uh, I'll sh you have to click save on the you have to click save on the thing so this is our skin and then you want to click save up here you, ha you, you can give it a name but I wouldn't recommend it it'll just give you confused or it can get you less confused depending on how you use it but now you want to click download now on the side of it it will say Steve and after, you, after it says that you want to uh, click the X mine shows up all the time and then once once you have it you want to go to your file explorer and then once it's here you want to left you want to right click on it after you right click on it uh, after you right click on it you want to oh well I don't know if it's on oh yeah 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 okay you know okay leave it like that and then you want to go to Minecraft which let me go ahead and go on to that so let me go on to the Minecraft launcher Okay, Minecraft launcher here, and then after the Minecraft launcher loads up, all you want to do is just launch Bedrock Minecraft. So after, uh, so I'll, I'll so let, I'll show you how to export it into Minecraft. If you don't know how to do it, that is fine. I will show you. So no problems worried there. So once this loads up. I can just or you don't have to do this you could just go down here uh, let me go ahead and move oh gosh yeah click the windows button then you want to I want to are you going I'm going to scroll down and then I want to click Minecraft and then Minecraft starts up okay and then after Minecraft starts up all you want to do is just uh, I will show you what to do. Okay, it's at forty percent. Um, remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and comment what I should make next. Should I make Freddy from FNAF? Should I make uh, any kind of FNAF characters, let me know. Uh, any kind of mobs, any kind of uh, uh, items, skins, let me know in the comments below. So, as you can see, it has almost loaded up. It is loading up right now. And then after it has loaded up, which is at 81%, it should be done any minute. Or any second. There you go. As you can see, it is done. And after it, it's like this. Uh, you after it says like play settings or marketplace. After it says all of that kind of stuff, I'll show you what to do. Okay, and it's on here. And then after it does this, I'm going to sign in. And then after it signs me in, I will. Okay, uh, okay, this is going to sign me in just a minute. But you, then you want to go. You want to go to a dressing room. Uh, I want a second. It's not loading correctly here. There it is. And then after your characters load, just like mine did, let me go to this black character, change classic skin, make sure you go into classic skins, click this button if you're on PC, you cannot do it this on Xbox. And then after you want to do this, you want to click this, you want to click on skins, click this, click choose new skin, and it will bring you to your file explorer up here, 
and then you want to click two times and as you can see the skin will be make sure you click the right will be in minecraft so I click the right and as you can see it is on here and then then I could go on a world which let me go ahead and make a new one let me make a new world and let me know on the comments below should I use this for my other minecraft videos or my other videos that I make on this YouTube channel so you want I'm going to click create a peaceful and go ahead and do the flat world and I'm going to create the world and after I create the world I will show y'all what the skin looks like in game so yeah let's get right in to that huh. Okay, it should be loaded in a minute. Okay. I like to read these kind of uh, things on the loading screen, like use seagrass to attract and breed sea turtles. Check out the marketplace to find new worlds and adventures. I like reading those. I like the one especially that says, don't leave trees floating. That's one of the favorite ones. Uh, okay, and after this, after it loads up, it's going to take a little bit to load up because uh, um, I don't know why. It takes this. It takes always, always. It always takes long to load up. Okay, maybe it's just having trouble loading the world. Okay, uh, it looks like it should be loaded. Yeah, there's the one. Don't leave trees flooding. That's the one I was talking about. There we go, and it's loaded up right now. <sighs> okay, it has loaded up. So, here we go. Okay. And here is what the skin looks like in game. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you like hope you I hope you hope this video helped you in this tutorial. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Uh remember to like, subscribe, hit uh turn on turn on notifications so when I'm making my next video you will get that no notification. And make sure to leave a comment of what I should do next and all of the other things that I could do on this channel. And uh, bye guys.